Hi everyone, Matt here again from the Heritage Volunteering Group. It's great to be back with you for another one of our recommended reads. This is where we explore books, blogs, articles from the world of business and beyond and think about how what they teach can be applied to our work with volunteers. Today we are going to be taking a look at some of the ideas in Good to Great for the Social Sectors. This is Jim Collins' follow-up to his, his brilliant book, um, Good to Great which explored the ideas that underpin successful companies. In Good to Great for the Social Sectors, Jim specifically looks at the difference between corporate organisations and charities. Many of the ideas in these books can be applied to the development and delivery of a successful volunteer programme. However, what I want to talk about today is how we measure the success of volunteer programmes. In the opening chapter of For the Social Sectors, Collins discusses how social organisations measure success, arguing that there is profound confusion in the social sector between inputs and outputs. So inputs being the resources an organisation uses in the production process, so things like labour, money, materials, and outputs being the things that they create, so goods, services, and that sort of thing. We often see this confusion with volunteer managers using system inputs like the number of volunteers or number of volunteer hours given to an organisation as measures of success rather than the output. So the things that they do in those hours like tours delivered or number of social interactions provided. The other thing that Collins talks about uh, that we see a lot is how organisations and volunteer managers fail to link success measures back to mission and vision. So it's really important to think of success measures as part of a longer chain. Start with, with your organisational vision, which is supported by your strategy, which in turn is built around a set of key strategic objectives, which each have deliverables attached to them. Impact is the difference that your output or key deliverables make. When you combine them, they deliver your strategic objectives and serve your organization's vision. So it's these that you need to measure. Success measures are going to be different for every organization and no KPI is ever perfect. But as Colin says, what matters is you have a consistent and intelligent method for measuring success. By linking your success measures back to your objectives and strategy, you can do this. Once you've got those strong measures in place, both qualitative and quantitative, you can build a powerful narrative about the impact that volunteers make and how they serve your organization's vision. Easy. We love Good to Great in the social sectors uh, and would really recommend picking up a copy. If you're not a big reader, don't worry. It is less than 35 pages long and it is well worth a, a read. It's packed with lots and lots of fantastic ideas. Well, thanks for joining us again. We hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and share with your colleagues. Thank you.